Hi, this is Celia from Bitscout and in this video I wanted to quickly show you another use case that you can uh, build on top of Monday and use an, uh, our AI solution. So in this case what we're going to do is we're going to create a simple version of knowledge base uh, for the company. Uh, in this case we're using IT service desks template that I have modified a little bit and I have created three boards. One is called customer requests, one is called internal requests, and the final is called knowledge base. So what happens here uh, is that uh, using customer request board, we capture all tickets that the customer can submit to us or any other feedback. Internal requests uh, board is managing all the internal ticket requests that we can have. So for example, engineer installing something and noticing an error and solving it should be added to a knowledge base. You can use with those with both uh, boards, you can use forms and QR codes to put it everywhere so it would be very easy to submit. In this way you create a system where you collect all the information that's happening. Now let me show you how it's working and uh, uh, we added some automations here. Uh, as I said there is a form, so let's raise a ticket, let's call it pressure sensor Let's put some description. Let's add a file. Uh, just took the file from a board. Let's put my name. And the phone number. Okay. Now what will happen, the form will be sent and it will appear here. So once it's got the status new, what we do is we check for sentiment. So we're basically trying to figure out the priority. We can tweak this a little bit, so we'll assign uh, uh, priorities depending on your criteria. But in this case, we uh, use just a negative sentiment. So the message is negative. So now we start analysis of the text. Once the text is done, we analyze for keywords. Keywords in this case allow us to create a taxonomy for future. It means that later on, because that's what machine sees, we can later on for the next tasks, we can easily group them using the same way, detecting the keywords and understanding that this, these two tasks are related between each other. And then the last item that uh, we are doing is we analyze the image. And from image, we also extract lots of information. In this case, it's just a stock image, so we extracted some simple things. But if it would be a product image, we can extract information about the product, what's the type, and etc. if there are images available. So at the end, we have our task uh, uh, analyzed. We have created lots of tags that will allow us later, when the knowledge base become big, will allow us to sort it properly and use this as classification. And then, uh, usually the request is moved to working on it, uh, assigned to some person. And uh, let's say we created a solution that uh, the replacement is required for all items uh, delivered from 1st of April. The package is on its way vendor malfunction okay so we have a solution and what happens next is we make this item as done and the moment it happens it moves uh, to a new group called done items but in this case we also start a new automation that moves the item here and here is our item so now you have started to build a knowledge base uh, for your future uh, work and then accumulating all the experience that you have based on the project and the duty variables. AI in this case helps you to classify items and automate certain tasks, helping you to focus on, on the content and uh, leave all the repetitive and uh, aut automation work to uh, AI and uh, Monday automations. Thanks a lot for your time.